Hello, you are watching a coffee blog, and today I'm reviewing coffee scale diffluid microbalance. Before digging into the review, let's enjoy the process of how they work. This is one of the fastest scales I've used. There are no unnecessary modes, so you don't need to scroll through them. Just turn on and use. Besides being just a great scale, they have an app, which allows you to adjust them to your preferences. And use the log feature, which is implemented quite well. The base is one solid piece, which makes it easy to grab with one hand. And they feel heavy, almost 500 grams. Even though the buttons are placed on a measuring plate, the scale don't wiggle when you press them. Feel stiff and reliable. At the top there is a silicon mat, which converts to a place for an espresso holder when you flip it. The display is bright and easy to read from any angle. Layout is simple. Left section is for the time, the right one for the weight, and middle one for the flow rate. Start and stop button on the left side, right button for turning on and off and tear. As for the turning off, you need to hold it for a few seconds. Auto shutdown is currently 3 minutes. It has a battery indicator which appears when the battery is low, so you will not have an unexpected shutdown when they discharge. And also an icon which shows that it is connected to a phone. They feel very responsive. Initial weight input is processed with a little lag but it's not that noticeable when using. Stopwatch can count to 59 minutes, which is useful for cupping or tea brewing. As for the stopwatch, you can't pause it, only stop. And it's convenient, because there is less frustration when you want to reset the time. And here is a great part. There is an auto start and auto stop function. With some skill, if you take off the brewer for swirling, it will think that you finished the brewing and will reset. Here, when you put back the brewer, they will resume the stopwatch, without skipping seconds. Flow rate when you're using without the app is very useful, because it's like a speedometer. It shows how many grams per second you currently pour. So, as for the scale for everyday use without the phone, I rate them 10 out of 10. As with the reflectometer, scale connects to the phone automatically. Currently you can activate start and stop functions, adjust the sound level, I finally found the scale with an adequate level of sound, so they can actually be used with the sound on. Auto detect sensitivity, meaning how much water you need to pour for stopwatch activation. Unit lock, you can disable double tap unit change which I did right away. Fractional digit display for those who prefer integers. Flow rate display can be turned off if you want less destruction. And most importantly, you can adjust the speed of refreshment of the display. I'm not a gamer, so I keep my FPS at 50. I can't digest 100 FPS. You can turn off the flow rate curve or weight curve to concentrate on important parameters. While brewing, they show the current ratio in the app. If you filled your target weight for brewing, you can visually see how much is left to be poured. And after brewing, you can analyze your stages and pours, and overall, keep your coffee diary and recipes in one place. Also, it will be easier to fill in the weight data in the app. Just press fill in which is a nice touch when you're using them with the reflectometer. Makes the measuring process easier, since everything in one place and there are less fills to fill manually. As you can see, it's a very modern product, which provides not only good brewing experience, but also gives you new data, which is easy to collect. 
but remember that their flexibility could be dramatically improved with the firmware updates. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.